let's say we have a string and we want to classify each character as a letter, upper or lower case, a digit, or other. We'll loop through the string one character at a time. Because we can compare strings, we can have an if statement like this to see if the character is greater than or equal to a capital A and less than or equal to a capital Z. If that's true, we'll print that the character is uppercase. Otherwise, it might be lowercase. When the character is greater than or equal lowercase a and less than or equal to lowercase z. Then we'll print the character is lowercase. Similarly, for a digit, then the range will be the character 0 and the character 9. And the character is a digit. Otherwise, we'll say that the character is not a letter or a digit. And let's run the program. And there are the results. However, the world is a big place and there are a lot of different alphabets. And their character codes don't fit our simplistic definition of letters, as you'll see when we run the program with this string. Luckily, Python gives you methods that let you determine a character's classification. We'll modify the program to use the isUpper method. If char dot is upper, it's uppercase. Otherwise, if it's lowercase with the isLower method, we can use char dot is digit to classify the letter as a digit, and everything else will be other. Let's put an other character in here. And now when we run the program, we've almost got it working except for this Japanese character because Japanese characters aren't either upper or lower case. But they are alphabetic. Let's add a little bit of extra code here. Otherwise, if char dot is alpha, so it may not be uppercase, it may not be lowercase, but it's an alphabetic character then we'll print that the character is alphabetic. And now let's run the program again. And things are classified correctly. One extra note. You can use these methods on a multi-character string. For example, if I set the string s to the word classify, I can say s dot is alpha, and it will return true if all of the characters are alphabetic. If I set it to classify with a question mark at the end and ask, is the whole string alphabetic? I'll get false. You can see a list of the classifier methods and all the string methods at docs.python.org.